Number 1. My husband-in-law, the smart and multi-talented Mui lives with her crush, Thien, for over seven years. During that time her crush deepens into love but Thien only notices her as someone to tease and bully. He is completely oblivious to her feelings, so she resigns herself to loving him from a distance. After all, Thien is smart, wealthy, hardworking and good-looking. His only flaw is being a bit of a player. Unfortunately, that leads to major trouble when he sleeps with the wife of a dangerous mobster. In the aftermath, Thien's life is in danger. To protect him, Thien's mother forces him to marry Mui. Mui only agrees for Thien's safety, but it is also a chance for her to be closer to him. While Thien reluctantly concedes and marries Mui, he wants to keep the relationship secret. How will their relationship fare? And Mui begins working at the same company. Is love even possible for them in these circumstances? Number 2. The in laws. Cham is a high so girl who just returned from studying abroad and is being forced by her mother to marry someone of her mother's choosing. Cham doesn't want to and wants to be able to choose for herself who she will marry. She meets a country bumpkin named Nin and they enter into a fake marriage to prevent Cham's mother from making her marry someone else. Will this fake marriage between a high so girl and a country bumpkin turn into real love? And will Cham's mother finally accept Nin for her daughter? Number 3. A woman's trickery. Kate's father stole money from Sake's company, and when he finds out he starts looking for Kate's father. However, Kate's father runs away. When they find him he has to go to the hospital because of a heart condition. There, he decides to sell Kate to Sake to pay off his debts and because he knew Sake's family wanted an heir and would take care of Kate. Sake gradually begins to fall in love with Kate. Meanwhile, Sake's ex-wife Itzala doesn't believe Sake has moved on to Kate and continuously chases after him. Number 4. You are my destiny. Pod is the successor to a large company. Juanide is a secretary, a law firm. They both go on the same cruise, with Pod planning to propose to Kakai, his girlfriend, and Juanita planning on losing her virginity to her beaufriend. However, Juanide ended up taking cold medicine which made her drowsy and accidentally went to Pod's hotel room while he was drugged. They spent the night together. Three months later, Juanita finds out that she is pregnant. Number 5. My secret bry. Swam is a mischievous girl who grew up in the slums. She develops a crush on Danurit, a good cop. The first time she meets him due to his good looks and kindness. They met previously at the police station when Danurit helped Swam get out of some trouble due to a false accusation. Swam is then asked to become a spy for the police by an undercover deputy, commander named Thuin. His mission is to spy and gather evidence on an influential criminal named Jaha. Thuin believes Danurit's uncle is part of Jaha's gang and suspects Danurit as well. Swam gets involved with Danurit again when he misunderstands that she is ex-mistress who is his cousin's fiancée. He hires Swam to be his fake wife to keep her away from Ek and to also help him avoid his ex-girlfriend Sukadot who is also Jaha's daughter. Tuin believes this is the perfect opportunity to spy on Danurit so Swam accepts his offer. Swam then Danurit bicker and fight all the time. She moves into his house pretending to be his wife because he needs her to follow his orders while she must spy on him. Number 6. Game of Love. Within two years so much happened, Muanchanok studied abroad. Her parents got divorced, and her father is getting remarried to a much younger former beauty queen. This broken family transformed Nok into a jealous, ill-tempered woman fixated on reuniting her parents at all costs. Meanwhile, Lak and I began to live at Nok's house. He had grown from Nok's childhood acquaintance to a successful upper level manager in her father's company. His cohabitation infuriated Nock. Upon being challenged by Lakanai, Nock started a game of love with him. However, Nai's feelings for her were sincere all along. Will Nock win and break Lakanai? Or will she give in and accept his feelings? <laughs> Number 7. 
Number 7. The Envy Code. The heiress of a billionaire loses everything. Her parents were murdered. Both their company and property were taken by her aunt and cousin. What can she do but seek revenge? She starts by blackmailing Siwa Rathanarith, the guy her cousin is in love with, about his father's indiscretions and evil deeds. Over time they fall in love. She starts to value his love as she learns to forgive. But will these changes be too late? Number 8. Wynn's Hidden Love. The story is about twins who both work in the medical field. Pranan, a rural doctor, and Pran, a businessman in medical technology. Each works passionately towards success in his career, and their parents are eager to see them begin creating the next generation. The Prans and Pranan's significant others differ vastly in both personality and priority. Pran is paired with Anne. Pranan is aligned with Patterin, a naive young girl whose boyfriend abandoned her to take responsibility for his debts, to recuperate from her broken heart. A disillusioned Patterin retreats to her rural hometown, the very one where Pranan resides, and he finds a solution to both their problems. In exchange for marrying him thus deceiving his parents, he will give her enough money to pay off her debt. Number 9. Love Island. Fakfa is the owner of Bon Muklam Rak, a homestay resort, and she's on the verge of losing her nephew, Yakrawan, Plown, to his bad father, Kolthip, and also Bon Muklam Rak because Iacup's company, Sirvri Group, wants the Muklam Island for their VIP project. Due to Iacut's bachelor ways, his mother forced him to get engaged to Darren, who has a crush on Iacut's older brother, Anowin. Iacut ran away and got mugged by bandits, but got saved by Takam, Fakfa's people. He thought Takam was a bad guy and pushed him into the sea. This made Fakfa angry and she was going to take him to the police station. The Kolthi came to threaten her again for the custody of Plown. Her lawyer, therefore, advised her to get married to increase her credibility. So she made a bargain with Iacut to marry her for not sending him to the police, which he agrees to. His mother was not pleased, however. He said he'll use this chance to get information about her island for their benefit. However, they end up falling in love, but Fafik still has fight for her nephew and resort. Number 10. Mechanic Bride. Mine is a stubborn girl and a talented auto mechanic. Fafit is the heir of a company engaged in the production of auto parts. His father arranges a marriage between Fafit and Mina in hopes she will be able to heal his heart that was hurt in the past and return his interest in life. Everything seems to be going well, but suddenly his axe returns and Fuffet's younger brother begins to show interest in Mina. 